Um, we have one WhatsApp question here. Uh, hope you all, Sheikh. Um, apologies if this has been asked previously, but is uh, Parmesan cheese halal? Uh, as I've heard that animal rennet renders it haram. So Parmesan cheese has animal rennet inside it. Mm, okay, so the process that it goes through, okay, so there is a process that it goes through. After uh, the process, uh, the ulama, they say, no, it's absolutely fine. There is no problem with that because it's gone through such a process. It's lost its uh, original state, okay. So uh, because of that, it's absolutely fine. There is no issue with that. Barakallah fikum, Shaykhana. I believe, I mean... Uh, there is a. I'm guessing this is the concept of ist, uh, istihala, right? Um, That's it. And is, is there, um, you know, for example, um, at sweets, you get those sweets that contain uh, pork gelatin. Would that be considered ha uh, halal as well, based on the same mm. con concept? Yeah, when it comes to, for example, the concept of alcohol or that which has clearly been mentioned haram in the Quran, such as uh, the, the consumption of swine. Uh, alcohol itself, the ulama, they took a step back. And the reason was because these prohibitions in the Quran are they are haram mahab. Ma haram Allahu fi kitabi. That which has explicitly been mentioned in the Quran, even after the process, okay, uh, as you mentioned, it's better to avoid it. This is the opinion of many of the ulama, such as Ibn Uthaymin, and many other scholars. Uh, when it comes to other matters, such as uh, the animal, uh, okay, so the extract, the, or the extract from the animals, uh, the ulama, especially the Ma Maliki ulama, they are of the opinion that it's fine uh, to, to uh, consume that uh, after it's gone through that process. 